Welcome to the Law Firm Marketing Minute, your source of internet marketing inspiration. Hey everyone, and welcome to the Law Firm Marketing Minute. I'm your host, John Henson. And if you're watching this on video, you can see that I'm in a new space. This is our brand new content lounge. And basically just we at Spotlight Branding are just investing fully into where we believe marketing is heading. And it is very content focused. Um, you know, gone are the days where you rely on search engines and paid ads and all that kind of stuff. Everything is really going towards more quality content but quality content that shows up in a lot of different places. We're talking not just your website, we're talking a bunch of different social media platforms, other different kinds of mediums as well. And we really just wanted to be at the front of that and we basically have just dedicated an entire space in our office to creating more content. And so what does that mean for us? I, I, hopefully it means that we're creating some more content, better, cooler looking content, but we're just, we're going to continue to put out great information. And at the core, that is what we really think is going to drive all of this is educational evergreen content that you can get value out of for months, maybe even years down the line. So when it comes to creating that content, what are, what are some different ways that you can do that? And so um, this episode, I wanted to share just a, a few different prompts, to a few different angles that you can look at in order to help create your overall content strategy. Uh, the first one is to create content, especially if it's video content, use a marker board to sort of write out or explain a concept. You know, a lot of people tend to be visual learners. I know for me specifically, uh, I learn most by watching people do something, but a lot of people also just need that visual representation in order to understand a concept or, you know, understand whatever kind of point that you're making. So if you can get a video set up where you're in front of a marker board and you're able to write some things out, that makes for some pretty good content. All right. Another thing is um, a lot of things that have become very popular are these listicles, these list style articles. Uh, BuzzFeed, obviously very famous for these, but man, you know, in your blogs or even your videos or even like a podcast episode, in kind of what I'm doing right now, I'm giving you like the top three, top five, top 10 things that you can be doing. And that's how you can form a, a piece of your content, whether it's video, like I said, or a blog, right? The next thing is just share, you know, share some behind the scenes stuff. What's cool about your job or what you are doing or where you're working? You know, a, a lot of people think that being a lawyer is just this boring, boring work. And if you think that, definitely encourage you to reframe that because there are a lot of exciting things that lawyers do. And, and you know, especially if uh, you know, some some practice areas lend themselves to this more than others. Obviously, you know, with ethics and, and all that, you can't provide like details of a client uh, relationship or anything like that. But there are some exciting things that are going on, you know, whether it's, you know, you can be vague about, it. oh, man, I'm part of this this particular kind of trial. And there's some juicy details that just pique people's interest. And so, you know, even if you think that your career is boring, I, I definitely encourage you just to look and think outside the box and think about different ways that maybe it's not, maybe that's not the case. All right. Uh, another one is just share some success stories, share, you know, some, some successes that you have had with your clients. This isn't necessarily like, Oh, I just won a million dollars for a client. No, like, you know, get those testimonials. If people, you know, if your clients are willing to actually be a part of your video content, you know, make them part of it or otherwise just share their story, share how you helped a family overcome a legal issue. You know, it doesn't have to be a monetary settlement related thing. It can be just you talking about how you were able to be a guide and help your clients go from this issue to overcoming, uh, you know, whatever they were facing, right? The last thing is share the secret sauce, right? Share your processes, right? It, especially if you're B2B or have a lot of clients who are business owners, you know, sharing your 
trade secrets, your, your internal processes for how you conduct business is a great way to elevate your expertise, not just in your field, but as a business owner. Um, you know, a, a lot of times, you know, people, people will look at that, that point on the surface and think, well, why, you know, you're going to give people the advantage by sharing your secret. You know, that's how you're, you're able to be ahead and beat your competitors. And that's not necessarily the case. Uh, you know, being positioning yourself as that resource and as that expert then in turn helps people view you as the expert. And now they're learning from you and they're, they're looking to be better business owners and, and better people because of you helping. And, and that is a lot of what we're doing right here at Spotlight Branding. You know, we're sharing our processes, we're sharing and telling you how we do what we do. So you can go off and do it on your own. Even if you don't hire us to do something, we're helping you grow your business through our own marketing philosophies. All right. So that's going to be it a little bit shorter of an episode this week, but um, yeah, hopefully we'll have some more episodes coming out of the content lounge here and that's going to do it. Thank you for rating and reviewing us on Apple podcasts. Thank you for the feedback that we get. Um, always love to hear from you guys and and letting us know what you'd like to see more of and how we can improve. And so uh, thank you so much for all of that. And that's going to do it for us this week. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Please visit lawfirmmarketingminute.com for more information. We'll see you next time.